Hey there, folks. Got a little cup battle for you today against someone who I met through Twitch, actually. I think I was on Duncan Knee Deep's uh, live stream, and someone was asking for uh, or a little cup battle. Maybe it was me, I don't remember, but um, either this person asked for a little cup battle or I asked for a little cup battle, and the bottom line is that we ended up battling. So, um, yeah, that was kind of cool. Uh, I'm getting battles in a whole bunch of places now. <laughs> Uh, that I wasn't really expecting to before. I'm actually I'm actually surprised that I've been able to get as many Little Cup battles as I have been. Um, you know, Little Cup was notoriously hard to get in Gen 5, and I really was expecting it to be hard in Gen 6, but I'm actually keeping pace to have, like, a Little Cup battle every three battles. I'm rather impressed. So, uh, yeah, his Chicken Little... Uh, it didn't protect first turn, but it did protect the second turn, uh, and now it's going to be at plus two speed, and the baton pass is fairly obvious. I'm a little bit concerned about who he might switch out into to give that speed boost, but I think I can deal with pretty much everyone on the team, and if, if all he's boosted his speed, then I'm really okay with that. So he goes out into Alphonse, um, nice full metal alchemist reference there, I gotta say, uh, and he goes for Earthquake, but no attack boost, so I can take that fine. I go for the knockoff, uh, does a decent chunk of damage, does not KO, and I could stay in and take another Earthquake, but just in case it gets max damage, I'd rather switch out. Uh, going to go out into Usain Bolt, who I don't think is long for this team. Folks, I've been testing out replacing Usain Bolt with a Chin Chow, and I gotta say, uh, the Chin Chow's doing a lot better. You know, Usain Bolt really is, I mean, like, even in this situation, so this isn't a particularly good matchup because he could have the Shadow Punch. Um, but, uh, you know, then again, a Chin Chow wouldn't have been a good Pokemon for this position either, but then I would have just gone out into my, um, whatchamacallit thing, um, uh, Snover. Yeah, so anyway, now that is going to come, um, his Execute, don't want to take the Spore, so I'm going to go out into 2010, who, uh, blocks the Spore, and uh, they can hit him back with some super effective, um, Ice-type moves. So yeah, I've, I've got the hail going. Um, this guy's basically disposable anyway, just in case I misplay or something like that. So Giga, he actually went for the Giga Drain. Um, probably not the worst idea, um, considering all that he could have done. So he goes ahead and switches out here. Uh, that's fine. Uh, and out's going to come Chicken Little again. So uh, I don't think, you know, granted it resists Blizzard, but nothing really wants to take a Blizzard. I mean, Blizzard does a lot of damage, and look at how low I got it. Uh, a critical hit, okay, fine. And a freeze, so that was lame. Okay, that, that was lame, but on the other hand, it wasn't that lame, because I have plenty of things for this Chicken Little. I really wish people would stop using Chorchick, because it's really just, it's really annoying and it's not particularly good. So I went for the Ice, um, the Ice Shard just to KO it, um, and, but he protected anyway, but it's fine. One more round of hail, and I'm even more able to KO it. So now Chicken Little is down. Um, oh yeah, he, he fought from the freeze, so uh, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, so now Chicken Little is down, and now God is going to come his Mind Foo, uh, that's fine. Well, we're just going to switch right out here, switch right out into my Fungus, and the worst he can do is knock me off, so that's fine. Uh, so Minimus is going to be out, and uh, based on, so he has two Grass types, so Spore, not the best idea. He just goes ahead and new turns out here, um, that looked like a Life Orb. Yeah, I've been seeing Life Orb Mind Foos every now and again, and I don't understand why. Mind Foo, either go Scarf or go Violate, and really, go Violate, because the Scarf set is not that good. That's just my opinion. Um, gonna switch out here, and gonna go out into River. Now, granted, you know, River doesn't want to take a Blizzard particularly well either, but it's better than any alternative. He actually goes for the Hidden Power. I'm thinking, okay, and that did a lot of damage super effective hidden power, so that would not be hidden power fire. Not exactly sure what the deal is there. Anyway, just get a little bit of residual damage off on it, uh, and the hail ended, so he actually sent out his um, snowbird at the exact wrong time. And this was kind of a... Oh, I, I think he... I thought he might have been scarfed, so that's why I didn't go for the U-turn here. If I had... Holy... That would have been incredible. So now I'm going to go out into Cuddle Dumb because I think I kind of wall this guy. Now granted, I can't do anything to it per se because uh, my only move that does damage is Leech Seed. Uh, but you know what? I can set up all four rounds of hazards. It's possible that Murkrow has Defog, but it's also possible that he doesn't. Oh yeah, it goes for the Hypnosis. Um, hypnosis over Sleep Powder. Uh, 
Wait. Oh, no, that wasn't hypnosis. I'm sorry, that was psychic. Sorry, the animation confused me. It doesn't even look like that. Now it goes for the sleep powder, thinking that I've got to be wanting to switch out at some point. But you know what? Why? Just set up my hazards. Set up all three rounds, or all four rounds, rather, and it'll be nice. So it goes out and switches out here. Uh, goes out into uh, Snover. Uh, so this leads me to believe that Murkrow does not, in fact, have the defog. Because if he had the defog, you would have used it by now. Um, I'm actually really curious what that Murkrow set is. Because... I mean, yeah, so, like, does it not run Heatwave? Because Heatwave would be the move to use. Uh, so, Cuddledum is taking, uh, you know, little bits of damage from the hail, but it doesn't really matter. I go ahead and switch out here, uh, not wanting to take a, uh, not wanting to take a Blizzard. Although, honestly, I should have just left it in. So he goes for the Giga Drain, predicting my switch quite well, um, I guess. Maybe he doesn't carry the Blizzard? But if you don't carry the Blizzard, then what's the point of using Snowbird? I don't know. I don't know. But Usain Bolt, I'm going to just switch it out here. That's the one nice thing about um, Usain Bolt that does have the regenerator for the recovery. And that's better than sleep, uh, than Rest Talk. But I don't know. I don't know. So I just go ahead and actually send it back out because I'm like, I don't think it's really going to... I think it's just hard. Actually, an okay situation. I'm suspecting here that he's scarfed. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a hunch, just a theory. I don't have any reason to believe it. Because I haven't actually done any moves that have damaged it, so it's not like I could do any damage counts. But yeah, I think it's Scarf. Um, so now out is going to come this Nuggets yet again. Um, you know, it's taken damage from all these hazards. So got the um, got the Berry Juice. Uh, oh no, it's not a Berry Juice, it's an Orange Berry. So my opponent, although running a pretty competitive looking team, um, must be fairly new to Little Cup because, I mean, there's no reason to use Orange Berry over Berry Juice. Uh, it's possible that my opponent was still thinking in the gen... Oh wait, well hold on, no, never mind. Orin Berry is fine if you're going Harvest. Just kidding. Not Harvest, um... Yeah, isn't that Harvest? Anyway, whatever. Uh, gonna... So the hail's gonna stop here, whatever. Little Mac is out, yay! So, I just go ahead and protect here. On the off chance he does something really stupid like a high jump kick, and indeed, there comes a high jump kick. Uh, <laughs> so, um, that is really funny. Uh, in a really schadenfreude sort of way. Gonna go out into Minimus! Schadenfreude! Uh, yeah, so teaching you new words, folks. Um, that's a fun word to use. Anyway, another high jump kick. Minimus can take that. Actually, does a decent chunk of damage, gotta say. He's losing health with Life Orb. I think... Oh, he... I don't know why I didn't protect there? I don't know. But, uh, knocks off my Violate. Eh, whatever. Uh, I go for the Sludge Bomb. Oh, right, I was expecting the Switch Out, because the Switch Out would be fairly obvious, and it would be nice to get a kill. So I kill the Mindfu. Uh, that's nice, but not the kill I was kind of hoping for. So now out is going to be this Evergreen yet again, um, and taking all that damage from the Hazards, and I, at this range of health, I, I don't have my Violate. It might make sense, make sense to sacrifice Minimus, but I decide, eh. Let's keep it alive for a little longer. If I'm going to sack anyone, it should be Cuddledum, because Cuddledum is useless at this point. All the hazards are up. It can't attack two of the, his three remaining Pokémon. And honestly, the third remaining Pokémon isn't the best choice either. Uh, yeah, so this is when my opponent really realizes, yeah, I don't know what hidden power I used, but it wasn't the right one. Um, yeah, so miss save there. That kind of sucks. So I got out into Corrin, because I, I want to test a theory. So first of all, I think that he's Scarfed. Second of all, I think this is Hidden Power Psychic, and indeed it is Hidden Power Psychic. The other alternative, based on the super effective damage against Mindfu, would have been that it was Hidden Power um, Flying, which might actually make sense, but yeah. Uh, my opponent at this point realizes, especially considering I'm behind a sub, that there's really nothing he can do against me, and uh, forfeits the match. Without even sending out Murkrow once, I, I will say that. That was kind of interesting, that Murkrow didn't even come out once. So I have no idea what Murkrow said he was running, but I guess he decided that... Um, his Murkrow versus my Murkrow, um, as if mine was already behind a sub, just wouldn't have been a good matchup. So that's it, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and I will catch you on the flip side. So long.